This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. <sighs> oh no. Uh, so do I go to the negative then? Uh, no, you're just at zero. I'm just at zero. Would you please put Jim Darkman in? Would you please lay him to rest? Death position. Oh. Can we endure him? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now he's turns over, right? Actually, you do have to keep track of your negative hit points. Just if you get down to your negative bloodied value, that's death for you, but it's oh, a ways I'm off. So I'm at like negative, uh, plus four minus 13. Nine. Uh, negative yeah, nine. Yeah, yeah, negative nine, technically. That's pretty bad still. But if somebody heals you, you start as if you yeah. get zero. Nine more and I'm dead forever. Okay. Just a heads up. Just something for you from my case. You're right. I can't right. have it. We've built a whole uh, His action is you. done, which brings us to Omen. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Cleric! Is it, is it worth healing you right now? With the boar, with the boar, boar over with the boar over your head? Well, I get to turn it before he goes again, at least. We might be able to put him That's down. true. That's true. Yeah, healing work. Yeah. That's gross. Plus one. Plus one, yeah. That's pretty true. All right. I'm up to ten. All right, now. Ten I'm is not, better than negative nine. Yes, it is. <laughs> exactly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lance out uh, with a powerful technique. Uh, I can't lie to you. It's pretty potent. Um, I don't know what it's called. Okay, uh, I fire a lance of faith out from my new location inside the doorway at the guy. Okay. Uh, no, I don't. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to open the door before you <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Boo! All right. Okay. Ale fell. Jim uh, opens one eye and sees the boar there and closes his eye and sticks his tongue out. <laughs> 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 All right, AFL. fell. We need destructiones. Now, if you want to get uh, CA, but he's, Jim can't give Jim CA. Can't give CA. Uh, technically, he can, even if he's prone. Oh, yeah. really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. I, will, I will accept Jim's CA. Any old plus. Helpless. It's yeah. always a pleasure to do work with you. You have to be conscious in there. <laughs> well, I am conscious. I'm just the problem. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Prone to violence. Hey <laughs> Overwhelming strike against um, <clears throat> Dude. The dwarf guy. Not with that. And Dude. definitely oh, not geez. with that. God, you so, so what's your dice yeah. failure? What is the melting temperature of these dice? <laughs> we'll find out soon. Binwin. Of the bronze bottoms. Um, as a minor action, I'm going to take a potion of healing. Give me a healing surge. Uh, sip, sip. So that's gone forever. <laughs> crumple, crumple. <laughs> so I only have to move one to get to him, technically? Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, just... here, no, hold on. From there, you could also move back a step and charge him. But then you charge him as a basic attack. What's up? Yeah. Your charge is pretty brutal. It is, but... Um, the extra D8, D6 is pretty If you sick. want to use a special power, you don't yeah. want to charge. Right. Unless you I have understand a power that. that lets you. Well, I guess the the t- technically the charge is because this is 1D10 plus 11 damage. But it also grants him CA against you. That's true. Uh, but you know what? Maybe that's okay. You're, <laughs> you're a cool guy. Give him somebody else to hit but besides I can the mark, wizard. I can mark him, and then and that's he has to me. Killing the wizard first is something he actually set up. I'm going to strike I'm gonna strike him brash. I think that's like a rule he has. I shouldn't have done that. Ooh, I'm sorry, but no, thank you. No, it's okay. That's a good hit. So, Dude, nice assist, by the way. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The D20 slams across the match, yeah, hits, hits the back of Omen's little figure character, <laughs> and flips to 17. That was nice. Yeah. The pachinko action. Ooh. Uh, so, 17 points of damage. Holy goodness. That's to the boar. Well, that's to the boar. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Eh. My bad. The boar expires. <laughs> yes! <sighs> nice job, Binwin Bronze Bottom. Hey, go for oh. uh, Topples over, sends the dwarf down into the ground. Okay. And the dwarf lies there in shock. He's See? Like, so, no combat, combat advantage is granted. Corpon! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh, it is musical. No, musical. No. This is actually really sad now. You're bumming me out. Did you see what that boar did in dark magic? Don't feel bad for the boar. What have that. you done? We killed your boar, bitch. That's what we did. <laughs> Uh, maybe, you say, wanna, maybe you want to stop swinging your axe at Ice cream. There'll be roast boar for dinner tonight. In the halls of the, of the bronze bottoms, etc. All right, we uh, two roast bull. Jim's turn. So three roast bull. I guess celebratory dinner. Jim. Yeah, in fact, it is Jim's turn. 
uh, rising up behind the carcass up. of the boar. And I say, uh, now that your wife's dead. <laughs> oh, oh hey oh. What do you say you and I dance? <laughs> and uh, Jim's magic missile is coming out. <laughs> Doesn't hit, but it's a good line. <laughs> it was a great line. line. You should get a plus for a line like that. 12 versus reflex. You should get a, and a plus for the line. You should get yeah. plus 20 for that line. <laughs> Blows into the dirt by his feet. And oh man. The missile misses, hits the ground, and it just scorches out JDM. <laughs> um, I gotta take my second wind if it's all right with y'all. Oh wait, as a minor second action, wind. as a minor action at the end of my turn, I want to take a potion. Oh please, okay. Yeah, yeah. I have second wind and get get some hit points back. Les points. Close the door. Leave your friends to clean up the mess. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I check out mentally and physically. <laughs> uh, Okay. You yeah. see, the dwarf does seem genuinely distraught over the death of his mount. It just might be an opportunity to maybe intimidate. Well, yeah, we need him to open the door. We right? need him to open the door. We can't kill him. He's, he's bloodied, right? We need to, yes. we need to hurt we can, him. We need to okay, hurt so him. another person right. emotionally. If, if, if in combat, you can use intimidate to force a bloodied opponent to surrender. Did you sure. know that? Yeah. Okay. Well, who's got a good intimidate? Mm, I have seven. I have a plus six. Not me. The elf <laughs> is the most threatening member of your group. I am an Eladrin. Sorry. Elves <laughs> are our hillbilly right. cousins. She tiptoes over. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I saunter out from the door, and I, when he's on the ground, I, I kick him and say, Open the door. <laughs> okay. 15, Ooh. intimidate. Uh, he is not intimidated by you. It's up to him. It, this can end one or two ways. <clears throat> All right, but it seems like... It's just one way. <laughs> you open the door and die. It's a very smart die, tactic. Nail fell. Do you want me to try to intimidate him, or do you want me to hurt him or fall back in? Uh, can you intimidate as a minor action? Or is it it's standard? a standard. It's a yeah. standard in combat. I say go for it, but if we need him to open the door... What's your plus? What, seven? You have the best chance. It's better than me. Give it a try. Okay. All right. You're essentially attacking his will defense with your intimidate check. Okay. Roll well, Will. Uh, all right. You're so, good. So, um, uh, Will, we need some leverage against him. Nice. Nice. Well done. Crap. Okay. Uh, so I stand I stand above him uh, and, and, and fill myself with righteous fury. Uh, uh, and, 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 I, and I say to him, um, as your mount has fallen, show, so shall you if you do not... <laughs> Let us into the door. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. We really want to go <laughs> inside there. Because that door is closed and we really want it to be open. <laughs> and we want you to be the one who opens it. Because you're on the ground. And I'm standing over you, man. <laughs> yeah! How does 19 work for you? Does that work? Yeah, that's, a, that's just on the dice. That's We're actually talking shit. about 26. Oh, man. Incredible. All right, uh, you see his lower lip tremble, and he cowers before your authority. <laughs> and uh, he says, I underestimated you. You are more than any I faced before. He meets the eye. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, because he fought a red dragon and killed it. And yeah, so more yeah, than yeah. That. He says... I yield before your power. Well, make that door yield yeah. before us, because that's where we want to go. Open the door, Nancy. Uh, if you let him, he rises to his feet, and though bloody, he saunters over to the door. Wait, just to humiliate him before he gets up, I kick Take his ass. Take his pants off. <laughs> Take his pants off. I, just, I, just, kick his, I just kick his axe away. I can do that. I intimidated him. Right. Before yes. he gets up, I kick his axe away. All right. right, done. He stands up and sort of eyes you with a, a respect that wasn't apparent in his visage up to this point. He walks over to the doors, he places his hands upon one upon each of them, uh, he mumbles something under his breath, and there's a flash of light that literally skims through the seams of the door um, in a split second, um, and at the end of the flash of light, he turns to you and says, the doors are unlocked. Okay, let's kill him. Go as you will. Should we try to get anything else out of him? Or you will leave disgrace. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah, good. He's been thoroughly humiliated. And as he's walking by Jim, Jim uh, puts a couple tickets in his pocket and says, try our home game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He leaves his yeah, house. He, I mean, he, just, he needs a lamb. He needs a house. Oh, he goes off the property. Yeah. He, 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 needs, he needs a house worthy of him. Hopefully his shoulders are slumped. Yeah. Huh? He left his axe. You might want to look at it. A few bits of Same armor that are angry. sort of loose. Well, he just sort of rips off and throws to the ground. Can I he check out his axe? Uh, yeah. Uh, when you check out his axe, you uh, can study it closely to determine eventually that it is a 
plus two transference battle axe. What? What is that? It's a magical property that lets you transfer a condition that you are suffering to, oh. the, to the enemy that you hit. On hit? Yeah. That's pretty hard. Wow. Mm. Nice. Is that, is it? It's a daily power. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Before we go through the door, should we go take a look through the house? Maybe sit down and take a little rest. Yeah, maybe, maybe catch yeah. a breath. Yeah, if you want to take a short rest inside his domicile. We can try. Okay. Now, now that it's are we cracked. out of initiative? We are. Before we get our stuff back? Uh, you do. Yeah, we, we, put, we put a little rock in the doorway so that the doors don't completely close. <laughs> okay. The wind blows it shut. Son of a... <laughs> we, send, we, send him, we have to send him a letter. Dear Thrackerum Devil Blood. Please come Dear back. Dear dangerous dwarf, stop. Please yeah. return to your cabin. Post haste. Stop. Doors closed. Stop. Must be reopened. Yeah, yeah must advise. All, right. All the best. Signed. A Q I. Yeah. Okay. When you toss his place, you see that he has got uh, a well, not so well hidden sack of 110 gold pieces. You find a labeled potion of healing among Ooh. his belongings. I acquire that. Oh, why did I throw away that card? <laughs> And uh, you can see he's got a statuette of a voluptuous dwarven woman with gems for eyes that you would praise to be about 250 gold pieces. How big is it? Who's writing this down? You write the little statuette's about five inches, six inches tall. Did you say 200? Jim just uh, drops it into a snap. All right. Splink. You said you said it has gems for eyes. Uh, yes, it does. And, and the gems are uh, they are carbuncle tourmaline. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can see that they are chips of amethyst. Okay. Should just cut his wand out and he's just knocking shit down to a bag. It's a, it's a typical AQI yeah, smash yeah. and grab. He's also got a, 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 co- a large <laughs> collection of weapons. Uh, dwarven make um, axes particularly, but a few hammers and mauls and other things. All right. Does anybody want to grab a little bacon off that boar before we leave? Uh, just a tender strip. So I'm down to 11 healing surges. Right. And now I can spend, we can spend healing surges, right? Totally, yep. Yeah. In this phase, I'm to remove this map. Oh man, this is gonna be a delicious. <laughs> I can tell already. All right. But since the warm-up encounter went so well, <laughs> yeah. I only really died one time. And used three healing surges. My Phazen, Phazen was a solo, so you guys did. I don't know. That was fun. I've never, I've explain, never fought a solo. Explain a solo to me. Solo, solo, solo monster great. is basically the equivalent of four monsters. Okay. He's got the hit points and, and the hits. Yeah. So, with his whirlwind strikes, he was attacking multiple times and. We're right. here now. Uh, this is the ground floor. Okay. Over there, and the this other map here is the upper floor. All right. So as uh, Marcinda had described to you in her briefing, you go in through the main doors. You're sort of at the you know giant foyer. This area here is a balcony, circumnavigating the mm-hmm. main room. These are connected. That is correct. Okay. Scary, tactically. Mm-hmm. So let's see. It looks like we're in a what is it like like eighty by ten. Uh, yeah, it's about 40 feet wide and about 60 feet deep, this hall. Is anybody else scared of this gong? Yeah, yeah, and there's a, there's a, there's a, what looks like a grand staircase yes. up through the middle in front of us that sort yeah. of curves around that joins to a balcony. Correct. There are two large braziers, uh, right, burning, on, uh, burning brightly, and then there's a gong. Across the hall. Uh, a long, a lone gong across the hall, uh, a little hallway at the very end of the room, and two, uh, two doorways small the, uh, doorways that lead off on either side. And our map shows that the doorway to the our left leads to what looks like a dining hall, mm-hmm. and the doorway to our right leads to what looks like some kind of library Study. with a lot of scary magic-looking shit in it. Yeah, that's how I describe it. <laughs> right? Scary, that ma- ma- magical. Yeah. The balcony has a stone railing uh, clinging to its edge, and it's, the balcony is 20 feet above the floor you currently find yourselves. When you enter the main hall, you do see that it's brightly lit by these two large, fiery braziers. Really, they're just sort of like raised pits that have great gouts of flame leaping out of them. You do not have to make perception checks to see that this hall is not unoccupied. There is a single creature here, a ghost. A gong beast. And it is basically standing on the the first landing of the staircase up there. That's it. And... What's striking about this ghost is that it is not a dwarf. It appears to be an elf. No. Uh, as, as you see, its, sort of its a... lower body kind of trails away. You don't see its legs fully, but its upper body very clearly. Uh, 
Real quick, I'd like to use prestidigitation to okay. grab this hammer. I assume it's about a pound. What's the range of prestidigitation? Prestidigitation. Far <laughs> it says that on the card. Super far. far, far. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the range point. So. It's range, range, shut range up. Two. <laughs> All right. It's range two. Alright. It's range two. So, Jim. I use range two. Just range two? <laughs> Which is out. It says, damn it. I can't get it. You try to get the saber out of the snow. Yeah. Good idea. Your little, 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 is range two? little, little ghostly mage hand goes to about here. <laughs> it just goes, <laughs> it like trembles, like it's really trying it. to grab it. And then it turns around like this. Well, it's like if you're, if you're within <laughs> 10 feet, you just go get the fucking hammer. Yeah, well, that's dumb. Well, what if it's through right. a grate or something? What if there was a grate between us and you flip a switch? So, yeah, exactly. so this elf, and, and we, we know that ghosts here sometimes well, traffic with mortals and she was, to uh, get their occupation done. Marcinda was speaking with this affecting. Af- affectation yeah, and didn't seem, didn't seem to really no. understand me when I was trying to converse with her. In yeah, Africa. yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't really get that. Well, and we know that the ghosts here will oftentimes use the dwarf That's to right. finish their business. Exactly. So, so, it, rest. so we, we, we might have it completely, we might not have it at all. The elf glides down the staircase in your direction, not threateningly, but... Um, Is it a male or with female? Male elf. Yeah. And has a look on his face that could be described as curiosity. Hmm. And he stops at the base of the staircase. Jim says, uh, where do you guys keep the magic coat? <laughs> You're not ready for that kind of straightforward. <laughs> the elf looks at you and says, Magic coat? What do you mean? Magic coat? It's a magic coat. Um, it, 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 it's just it's like a coat, but it's magical. Ah, oh, I see. Yes. The invulnerable coat. That's the one. Where's that at? That's the very same you coat. You point me in the right direction and we are good to go. Says, I would love nothing more oh, than to like be of assistance to you. Made her deep. This guy's on our side. <laughs> he says, I am Sithir. Who are you? I am Jim Dark Magic of the New Hampshire Dark Magic. Coat enthusiast Welcome and... to Ambershard Manor. Of the Aspen Amber Shards. <laughs> no, this guy's okay. Oh, nice. He's, he's here uh, with you? Yeah. Are you a servant of the Amber Shards? Hey. Oh my group. goodness, no. I'm a thief, killed here long ago, when this place was but a mortuary. Uh, did you come to get the coat as well? I came from many things. Unfortunately, despite my exceptional skills in thievery, I was... Done in by a trap of dwarven insidiousness. That's right. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we definitely want to avoid uh, that trap. And, 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 how, and, how, and how, how did you die? He says. Describe the trap. It was a pit of acid. No. Oh, that makes you every time. unpleasant. Every time. I don't recommend it. But. We're not shopping around. If you're wondering whether I have some allegiance to this Amber Shard plan. I do not. Can you use insight on a ghost? You sure can. Uh, 15. 19. Embarrassing. Not shame. I can't even uh, see the ghost. Jim, you're pretty certain that he he seems like he he has no reason to lie to you. You get that sense? He's I like, like him. I'm dead. I don't need to lie. Yeah. This guy's okay in Jim's book. He says, the Amber Shards do enjoy their petty tortures. They have killed me, tried numerous times, but I keep reforming. So can ghosts, I know that like, like unquiet spirits can, you know, manipulate physical objects. Like, do I think he would still be able to, to activate it, to activate a trap or to deactivate? It is possible. Uh, Ghosts can manifest physical change in the world. They can push people around and things like that. I say, I say, Sithir? Yes. I have a proposition for you. It's not quite as good as having done it yourself all those years ago. But what would you say to robbing the Amber Shards? I would say that that is the best suggestion I've heard in years. Perhaps you can avail yourself of my unique talents. Awesome. So now we have a gay ghost helping us with this. <laughs> Listen, Acquisitions Incorporated is an equal opportunity employer. If you will allow me 
to possess one of you, what? I will impart Absolutely. my Possessed knowledge. Absolutely. Possess the door. Uh, Jim you grabs Ben when he pulls him forward. Wait, 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 wait. There is no fear. You will only benefit from the See? unique skills it's that fine. I bring to the situation. They'll probably just tingle, right? My expert thievery. That's how you know it's Self. I do not want to let a ghost possess me. Don't be a pussy. Come on. My yeah, mastery in. of dungeoneering. Jump in? All yeah, see. these can be yours. Jump into who? Jump into you? No, no, no I have to door. say, to put me in you before <laughs> you leave tonight. <laughs> <laughs> me. All right, so I think a ghost wants to get in me. Yeah. How many times does that Just happen? Just an average day in a bronze yeah. bottom plane. <laughs> hey Whoa! Misogyny. All right. No, this is a male ghost. You should keep your voices down. <laughs> <laughs> We're in that point. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Well, uh, they... put my fingers in there, man. <laughs> All right. What happens? Do they, does the ghost jump in me? Uh, I have to give myself willingly? He says, that will make it easier. But it is not entirely <laughs> necessary. Just do it. Come oh, on. He's cool. Oh, look at it. it. Your will may be strong. Hold on, guys. What? Yeah, I don't see anything wrong. I don't see anything wrong with this scenario. What We're is letting this? a strange ghost uh, inhabit our friend, our most powerful <laughs> second ghost, and I turn around and ghost I'm like, uh, keep please. in mind, once he's in my body, if he wants to attack you guys, he can attack you guys with me. And I know that you can't. He won't do that. He, he why would he do that? He won't do that. Look at Sithir. Look Sithir. at Sithir. Hold on, Sithir. Once you get in there, are you going to attack us? No! No, oh, see? Oh, he's a thief. He would never lie. You see Sathir sort of swoop into Binwin very quickly, uh, since you're not resisting him per se, unless no. you intend to. Mm. He, <laughs> you're just uh, sort of flash of air around Binwin. His no, kind of hope becomes a little ruffled for an instant. And Binwin, you feel this uh, horrid chill. And of course. suddenly, yeah. there is this presence inside of you, this sort of unwholesome thing uh, that seems to have lodged itself in your psyche. Uh, but it does not assert itself. It doesn't command me. It does, does I just not feel it's there? You. you feel it's there. You also get this strange sense of empowerment, like it has bequeathed unto you knowledge and uh, skills you never possessed. <sighs> See? Does Sithir say anything like, Yes, at this hour, no. new flesh! <laughs> <laughs> anything like, does he talk about flesh at all? Not yet. Okay. All right, uh, I, uh, okay, well, I think, just think, are you in my head? Yes. And he, that's, did you guys hear that? There's a lot of room in here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I say, it, it works. I say, I, I'm, I'm, my guess is and that... And while I can assert myself over you at any time, I assure you that is not my <laughs> Hey, hey, Sethir. I'm tankered, 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 tankered. <laughs> Sethir, are you in there right now? Can I talk to Sethir? Sethir. There is no Sethir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do not have a direct line to Sethir. No, you, you talk to me. Uh, so messages uh, have to be relayed through Vinwin. Yeah. I, I would like to... Although uh, Sathir can hear them, just yeah, as well as he can. He's got your ears now. All right. Um, I walk over to, to Binwin, and I look at him, and I say in Elvish, do they smell as bad from the inside as they do from the outside? <laughs> well, what does Sathir say? He doesn't say anything. I'm not sure he has an olfactory yeah. sense, mm -hmm. which is probably Ghosts a blessing. can't game. smell, and if he did, I'm sure he would say yeah. that I smell fine. Right. <laughs> right. I have some elvish, I know. All the grognards are freaking out that so I said I, elven twice. So, so, so I tell... Uh, I tell uh, I learned how to write elvish instead of Spanish <laughs> in high school. is really angry at me. I'm sorry, dude. I say, I say, Sithir, by the time we leave this place, we need every coin this house has. I like your friends. <laughs> he agrees. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I say, I say, I say uh, direct us. It sounds like you've had more than enough opportunity to... Where to All right, ghost, joint. which way to go? Lead me to Citrine Amber Shard. I think this. Don't worry about the gold. I want Citrine first. He said, he says to you. This is your thing? This is your thought? Cit yes. Citrine Amber Shard is not home. Yeah. She's, she's, she's examining her mind. Can you leave a message? Or any of the yeah. Amber Shards. Beep. Hello, yes. this is Citrine Amber Shard. Yeah. Yeah. Reprehensible and disgusting son, Lear. Lead me to him. I'm thinking this. You don't yeah, yeah, this is awesome. He is upstairs. All right, I say the gold, the, the, the gold's this way, up the stairs. All right, you brazenly make your way across. 
splendid. Oh my god, just cone, 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 cone. I know with you, not to just run. You're able to get right up onto the balcony. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> you, you can take another step and stand right next to that sarcophagus. Go right ahead, you'll oh, be fine. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah. Do you follow me up? Oh, yeah. Him up? yeah. Absolutely. Is past that door. Is past this door? Yes. Okay. The guards are through these doors. The guards are over here? Oh, yes. All right, so I, I say um, guards are this way, goal is this way. I wonder if I wonder if Sethir could distract them. Um, I asked the th- this, well, I asked Sethir, can you keep the guards busy while we go after Lear? Almost certainly, but then you will lose the benefits of my incomparable <laughs> skill. Who knows? How, who knows what he's got trapping his study? It's probably best to keep him for now. Yeah, I want to keep him. And also, I, I like killing guards. Killing guards is what I do. I took the chance. I want if you to wish to be stealthy, and I need that. I so yeah. make you though. Excellent. I guess that's true. Now we have a stealthy dwarf. Or he it can jump in one of you. How yeah. can he make it? How can he make it stealthy? Well, he, he's going to get negatives for his armor, but his stealth skill yeah. is still going to be great. His stealth skill is higher because yeah. he's got uh, Sethir's abilities. Okay, so um, can I sneak up to this door and listen? You That's a lot of squares. As, as many of you can as you want. Well, first of all, we need to sneak past these doors. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try to stealth past great. these doors. That's a great start. Anybody who wants to follow can do the same. You can also. Well, we should do, all probably stay together. Yeah. Right? You can I'm also. Not a fan of splitting the party. You guys also can do what's called a group stealth check. Oh, how does that work? Oh, yeah. Just, I heard of that. So, uh, I'm going to move my DMG. How does this DMG one? silver? Because he's a DM? No, it's, it's a. It's a. It's a. It's a. Super awesome edition, uh, right. It has the errata in there. Erotic. Oh, Erotic. That? Where yeah. did, can you still buy those? Yeah, and it has a, it has a sure can buy. I get it on eBay. All right, well, we're going to do this group stealth. I asked him if there's any traps along uh, this hallway. Yes. Hold on, wait. Don't do anything just yet. Wait. Um, I'm switching out that feat that I have okay. no idea what it does for improved armor of faith. Great. So I'm just giving myself another one to AC. I like that. What does it bring your AC up to? 22. Wow. That is not garbage. It's not garbage at all. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. So uh, we're gonna, stealth. We're, gonna stealth. We're, we're gonna do a group stealth. The person leading will roll a stealth, which was me uh, uh, twenty twenty one. He said, and then you guys roll a stealth. And if you do well, it gives me a plus two. But it gives a group we need a plus ten two. or better on the dice, right? That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> but if we roll less than ten, does it hurt? No, no you just don't give a plus. Yeah. Ten exactly. I'm gonna try this. Is the ice cream man? No. No, is that sir? 18. Oh, I like that. So he bumped us up to 25. Sweet. All, All right. right. And I also ask the the ghost if there's any traps along this hallway that I should be aware of. Not in the hallway. No. Okay. It's probably be difficult to get around. All right. Yeah. So we're going to... One, two, three, four, five, I guess, is my yeah. speed before I roll stealth again. Okay. And the whole group moves? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, wait. That's fine. Jim, dark magic in the back. Then. You do hear through those doors. You don't have to make a perception check to hear. There's some dwarven rockets going on back there. Sounds, oh, like, sounds like a fair. All right, let's yeah. do it again. Nineteen. You guys want to help? You. I don't help. Nope. Nope. Nineteen. You added your. You yeah, I only rolled seven. Okay. One, uh, two, three, four. Walk to here with yeah. the nineteen stealth. Okay. Uh, when you get there, uh, everybody make perception check. Oh, is that a 16? Oh, uh, 20 for me. 26. 27. Minus any bonuses to go. So, no, I'm sorry. 20, my bad. Okay. Uh, those of you who rolled a 20 or higher hear the scraping of a chair uh, oh. through those doors. Against, like, the ground? Yeah, like a chair being skid hmm. back. And then uh, you hear uh, a latch on the door being pulled back. What would you like to do? Can you tell me about this door? Uh, yes, it is a sturdy-looking wooden door with iron hinges that the doors open toward you. Uh, and a big sort of iron handles to pull. And they, it looks to me like they lock on the other side? Uh, it looks to you like they don't have a lock at all. So uh, I'm just hearing a doorknob. Yes, yeah. Basically. Oh, no. So do you guys want to continue on, or do you want to? I mean, we have a we have a split second here. I mean, I wonder if he'll just pop. I wonder if he'll just pop his head out. I mean, I can I can turn and come to here in the hopes that he'll pop his head out, and I can swipe. Yeah, him. I'm saying if he pops his head out, I don't want him to see us. Is what I'm saying. Oh, you want to? Keep I, I'm saying because that door actually has a little inlet there. We can get. I wonder. I wonder if we can't hide against the wall here. 
Where is Press this? Ourselves up. We yeah. sort of like Flatten ourselves up. So he opens it up and looks around. He's like, hmm? Okay, we can try to do this. All right. Let's you throw prop. yourselves up against the shadows of the wall. There are things hanging on the wall here, like shields and axes and tapestries like and yeah. all kinds of things that the Amishans have accumulated over the years. Decor. Decor. Other people's rightful property. Because they're nouveau riche. Exactly. Exactly what you expected, Omen, transpires. Uh, he peeks. Somebody steps out here, peeks around, sort of does a cursory glance over the balcony. Looks like a dwarf. Uh, make a perception check for him. And uh, make a stealth check, see all. Each of you individually. I don't help again. 17. No, this is not an assist. This is oh. supposed to be by yourself. Oh. <laughs> uh, Jim gets a six. Okay. But Jim is the farthest away. Yeah. Which is good. Well, yeah. closest to the other door, though. What right. cow? Five. Four. Oh. 17 for me. Okay. <clears throat> it's hard to see that little D6 when there's all those cool looking <laughs> figures around it. Yeah. He uh, blends in. I think we're fucked, and boys. And then the uh, dwarf goes back inside. Okay. Closes the door. All right, good. 